Hi everyone, welcome back to the Science Behind Air Layering video series. This is Dr. Ramakrishna, a scientist researcher working in the air layering propagation. So in the previous videos, we learned about the how to choose the stem and node and the preparation of node for the air layering. Now, in this video, we are going to learn one more important topic of okay, why do we make a one inch cut below the node? We have seen many videos in social media of this process. Okay. So we used to see the just circular cut or one inch cut below the node. Okay. So many people used to do that. Okay. So why do they do that? Okay. What is its importance? Okay. And we are going to learn scientifically its importance in the air layering process. Node contains merismatic cells, parenchyma cells, and natural auxins. So, when we make a one-inch cut below the node, we are creating a wound on the plant. The plant feels the wound stress, and this will be repaired by its natural mechanism. So, what happens after making the wound? The plant responds to the wound stress and redirecting all its energy to the wound point, where it can form the callus callus so after the formation of callus the plant will decide the whether the roots formation or shoots formation or to heal wound itself but our aim is to make roots formation to enhance the root formation we are giving the higher concentration of natural auxins at the wound point so let me demonstrate you what happens exactly when we do the one inch cut just below the node Take a close look at this stem. Right. So this is the stem we have chosen, and these are the nodes we have in this stem. So we are going to perform the one inch cut below this node. So in this stem, it's a node point. In the node point, we are going to cut circular cut just below the node. So once we have a circular cut below the node, okay, then we need to cut another circular cut exactly one inch below the first cut okay so this will give the exactly one inch cut in the below the node by this cut we are going to removing the bark okay so technically the bark is the phylum cells okay and by removing this phylum cells we are exposing the cavium right so the phylum cells are the important cells which transport the nutrients water to the plant but don't need to worry because inside there is a xylem cells they will also transport the other nutrients and water when it comes to this white layer this is the cabium layer it is present in between the phylum cells and the xylem cells so the next important and crucial point is removal of this white cabium layer okay. so why we need to remove this cabium layer okay. so here if you don't remove this cabium layer okay, again it is going to regenerate the um, upper cut and bottom cut by forming the uh, skin cells so that's why we must have to remove this cabium layer for concentrate entire energy of the plant at the node area Okay. that is very important because it will give a more impact for the root formation in the air layering propagation why only one inch cut why not less why not more one inch is the perfect length to interrupt the flow of nutrients that forces the plant to form the roots at the node area if it is less than one inch and cabium layer is not removed then the upper and lower joints combined together by wound healing mechanism if it is slightly more than one inch and it is also good for the air layering if it is more than two three inches there are higher chances of breakage of stem so the ideal length for the uh, cut in the air layering process is one inch or just above one inch thank you very much for watching my video okay. if you like my work please like share subscribe to my channel if you have any queries or questions, please comment in the comment section.